what's up guys so welcome to another video tutorial in java so um it's almost 12 so this is actually the second part in if else statement so yung if else so napag-isipan kong paghiwalayan hiwalayan hiwalayin yun kasi this is the part na pag-uusapan natin yung tinatawag na less than or equal at saka greater than or equal so, meron kasing application yung logic, logical, logical operators, which is the and and or. Pero kaya, i-discuss ko to. Kasi, alas yung na, alam niyo na. Kasi, I've made a video about doon na sa, excuse me, logical operators in Java. So, let's do this. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, ito na, uh, sinet up ko na to. So, alam niyo na to kung paano to gawin. So, Ito na, uh, this is actually the less than or equal. So, yan muna. So, for example, meron tayong integer x equal to ano to. So, I'm going to make this, guys, ano, kumbaga. I'm going to make this as a, kumbaga, simple example. Ang point ko lang dito is, maintindihan nyo kung how it works and kung bakit gano'n kung bakit ka nito. Kasi, kahit kung gawa natin yan ng komplikadong code, pareho, pareho, lang naman ang ibig sabihin nito. So, ang gusto ko lang ma-i-point ma out is maintain yun yung kung ibig sabihin nito and ito. The less than or equal, the greater than or equal, then the not. So, yun lang naman. Ah, parang sa, I'll assume na alam yun na eh. Sa, sa isang tingin pa lang alam yun na yan eh. So, kung maghula-hula lang. So, less than or equal. So, for example, our x is equal to, so, let's make a condition na, for example, if x is less than or equal to 10, so, and yan, then else, pa like false, pagay tayo na, it's just system that have the print lane dito, na, true. Lagay lang natin ng true, kasi, kumbaga, once na nag-true to, as I've said, anything that is inside this open closing brace, curly brace at tawag dito is gagawin niya once na true ang condition na to. So, yun. So, let's just print here na <coughs> excuse me false. So, yun. So, once we run this ano to? So, wait lang. So, once we run this so, check muna natin x is equal to 2. So, is x less than or equal to 10? So, x is less than 10. Or, x is equal to 10. So, alam niyo na yan. I've said, as I've said, meron akong video niyan about logical operators, about the and, or, and not. So, I'll assume na alam niyo na. So, we are, um, technically, we are using the or operator. So, x is less than 10. Or, x is equal to 10. So, so the first statement is true, and the second statement or condition is false. So, true or false is true. So, once we run this, we are expecting na true ang ano niya. So, paano kung palitan ko ito ng 10? Ganyan. Palitan ko yan ng 10, okay? So, ang magiging ano nito is, is e, if x, x, x is less than 10 or x is equal to 10. Gawin kong equal equal kasi yun yung ano nito. So, or we are using the or. So, x is less than 10. Is 10 less than 10? It's false. So, this is false. Pero we are using the or, logical operator, or x is equal to 10. Is 10 equal to 10? True. So, this is true. So, false or true is, as I've said, kung um, alam niyo na, so, I recommend continue pa na abutan. So, pakipanood na lang nun. Mga konting minuto lang naman yun, 13 minutes ata. So, false or true is true. True pa rin siya kasi we are using the, you no know, or logical operator. So, once we run this, true pa rin. So, well, for example, pinatan natin ito ng 99. Ganyan. So, is 99 less than 10? False. 
or is 99 equal to 10? False. So false or false is false. So we are expecting a pupunta siya sa false. Diba? Ganun lang naman guys kasimple. So this is the very reason, the number one reason kung bakit ko diniscuss yung or and logical operators and then not. Kasi yun para mas maintindihan nyo at least maintindihan nyo kung how does it work the logical operator. So actually kahit hindi ko na-discuss yung greater than greater than kasi pareho lang naman pareho lang naman ang pinagkaiba lang naman ng less than sa greater than is tinitingnan kung greater than ba dito kaysa dyan so so quick um, quick example lang so gawin natin ito ng um, 7 ganyan so let's check x is equal to 7 so is x less than 10 this is actually true or is x equal to 10 7 is equal to 10 false so, true or false is true. So, true. Pag it nag-false, actually, x is... Oh, greater than pala. Sorry. <laughs> Ganyan pala yan. So, actually, mag-false to. Mag-false yan. Kasi x is... The condition is x is greater than 10. So, 7 is not greater than 10. So, false to. And... 7 is not equal to 10. So, false or false is false. Sorry, sorry. Tinitinang ko kasi less than yan kanina eh. So, yun. So, let's make this up. For example, 70, ganyan. So, x is... x... 70 is greater than 10. It's true. So, x is equal to 10. So, 70 is equal to 10. False. So, true or false is true. So, ganun lang naman guys. Pare as I've said, pareho lang naman dun sa last example natin sa less than. Pinagkaiba lang is greater than to. So, ano ba yung not? Last but not the least is not. So, actually, ang not is as I've said, pag, sinag pag sinabi mong not true, it is false. Pag sinabi mong not false, it is true. Kung mag inverted, directed lang. Kaya nga, not from the word itself. So, Kailan ba ginagamit yung mga not na yan? So, basically, useful rin yan. I'm not going to tell, pero especially in making complicated mga program, so doon po rin magagamit nyo yan. So, at least alam nyo kung um, anong ibig sabihin yan. So, basically, linalagay ang not before the the actual condition. So, ba't ganyan? Oh, bawal yan. That's actually syntax error. So, Lagay tayo din ng parenthesis. Ayan, ganyan. So, it's actually syntax error kasi na, nababasa ata ng computer is not x. So, hindi naman logical operator sa integer. It's actually syntax error. So, yun. So, ganito. Try natin to. So, eto. So, let's keep it that way. 70. So, 70 is greater than 10, dito tayo, 70 is greater than 10, it's true. Or, 70 is equal to 10, false. So, true or false is what? It's true. So, pero may na, meron tayong not. So, since na, 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 kung mag, na compute na natin yung condition, lumabas na true. So, you can, ima, you can imagine na this statement is parang ganyan. True. So, ganyan, ganon. So, I mean, not the statement. So, um, condition. Ayaw ko kasi sabihin na statement kasi iba naman yung meaning nun. So, condition. This is a condition. So, since this is true, this condition is true. So, not. Merong not. And, uh, ang tawag dito. So, ganyan basta yan. So, not true is what? False. So, not true is false. So, we are expecting that the whole condition once na, na ano yan is false. So, once nag false, saan pupunta? Dito. So, yes. So, diba? So, ganun lang naman guys. So, pag, kung magtatunan kayo, pwede bang maglagay ganyan ng pareho din dito? Pwede, pwede. Pwede, pwede. Pwede, pwede, pwede. At saka ganyan, then gusto nyo palitan to ng 12, ganyan. 
Ayun, sa sunod naman, meron ulit kay dito, ganyan. Pwede yan, pwede yan. So, yun lang naman po guys. At least, alam nyo kung anong ibig sabihin noon. So, 10 minutes lang. So, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. So, yun. I hope na may natutunan kayo and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thanks!